Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel and a welcome to my journey. Today is a beautiful day for a couple of reasons. It's a beautiful sunny day. The temperature is kind of mild. It's nice to be outside. And also, if you've been following my health journey, today is a beautiful day because I'm able to be outside in the garden, just enjoying being out here, which means it's a good day because there's some days I just can't be out here. So I want to take you for a walk and just show you a couple of the areas that I've been keeping um, tidy and really concerned about as far as uh, focusing on for this year. So, follow me along, right here, on Garden Jen's Journey. My name is Jen. In 2016, we moved to a small rental property in Central Michigan. Here, I started my journey of organic gardening, making natural remedies, cooking from scratch, and so much more. Welcome to my homestead, and welcome to my journey. So here is a look at my potato patch. It's looking really, really nice right now. I got a little bit of light waiting to do. But overall, it's looking pretty good. If you're allergic to ragweed, don't come around. This is ragweed, and we have to weed whip this down because the roots are, are so deep and strong that uh, trying to pull them out is almost hard to do. So we're just going to um, weed with them. But I just wanted to share a couple different things we got going on here. So this patch here, and then most of this patch, if my memory serves me right, these are all Yukon gold potatoes in here. And you can see we got a lot of stuff planted in here as well. We've got um, this right here, this fluffy stuff. That is Cosmos. And when it blooms, it's really, really pretty. It's the red cosmos. So I'm waiting for that to bloom. Then, of course, we've got borage. Lots of borage. This self-seeded from the stuff I had growing here last year when this area was squash. I put the borage here because it's supposed to reduce the squash bugs, the, both the beetle and the vine borer. And it did help somewhat. It prevented them from coming in until late and so the damage was lessened for sure. All right. And then over here, this is dill. It's a fragrant herb, of course. So it's supposed to help keep the pests away, like the squash, excuse me, the potato bug. You don't want the potato bug on your potato plants when they're trying to uh, flower and stuff. Then we have some lemon bee balm there. It's a little stunted. It's usually really, really tall, but um, still, it's something that the bees enjoy. <sighs> nice, pretty flowers. And then we have over here, this was supposed to be red potatoes, but they did not grow. And so I planted a nice patch of chamomile here. So uh, hopefully... Um, we'll get quite a bit of chamomile that I can harvest. I pruned it a little bit because uh, chamomile can grow quite, quite tall and uh, stocky. And so I cut it down, um, about halfway down, so it branch out more. And uh, it seems to be working. We're, we see a lot of buds coming on those um, branches that I cut down. So that's really cool. Again, a lot of borage. The bees absolutely love it. These are my sweet potatoes. I have a couple plants here and then a couple plants here. And they're doing really, really well. I mean, look at the, the growth of the vines on this. Really, really nice. And then um, I have some zinnias mixed in here. These are the Takis zinnias, I believe is what they're called. I mean, look at the... the um, texture. I really like the texture. Really, really neat. I got these from Baker Creek. So I will try to post a picture of the um, packet or, you know, at least a link 
where you can get these if you're interested in, in this um, variety of zinnias. And then finally, the African blue daisies. Now these guys are hard to grow for me. Um, they, they just tend to be very hard to get going. But I had a great start this year when I did my seedlings indoors. And so very thankful. I got quite a few plants. And so um, hopefully I'll be able to save quite a few seeds to grow them again. And then this little guy is by himself because only one of him grew. It's a straw flower, a copper straw flower. But we'll take it. And then over here, these are calendula. And then I have one glardia or two. I can't remember. But uh, anyways, just wanted to show you what the potato patch is looking like. Oh, and I almost forgot over on this side, we do have some coxcomb growing here. Some, uh, these are dwarf varieties and uh, multicolored coxcomb growing there. My Roma tomatoes are starting to produce some nice tomatoes on them. They really took off this past week, and I have some of them that are quite tall. You can see I've been using my Velcro to attach them to the trellis here, but they've even been growing beyond that. But, uh, nice, nice uh, fruit going on here. These are my cherry tomatoes. I can't remember which is which right now, but judging by the shape, I would say that these are my sun golds. And then these ones over here, again, judging by the shape, these are more elongated. So I, I would say that these are my pear tomatoes. And then over here, this is my Kellogg's. So it's not very big right now. Right here, these tomatoes were having a hard time. They did last year too. My Kellogg's really struggled, but uh, we were attributing that to the um, smog that we had from the forest fires. But we'll see how this does. I'll probably give it some more fertilizer, do some weeding if I'm able. Then over here, Again, we have some slight issues. These little guys are mini bell peppers. So they do have some mini peppers on them. But again, they're, they're struggling a bit. So we'll probably fertilize. So that is a quick walkthrough of a couple of the beds in the garden that I'm really concerned about this year. I'm keeping it low key because of my health and also just what my family does eat and stuff um, is mostly potatoes and um, tomato products and I like peppers so I'm growing the peppers um, but uh, the family really doesn't eat a lot of other stuff uh, we do eat beans but we have quite a few from previous years so I didn't grow any of those this year Anyways, I hope you found this video encouraging on how you can have fun with just a little garden. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends who might need a little inspiration on how to do just a little garden and still have a garden. Thanks for being with me today, everybody. And I hope wherever you are, you're wonderful blessed. Till next time. Bye-bye.